Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Help I Bought a Farm of Farming Simulator 22. You might have guessed already but today's video is going to be about sheep. Um, now I've done, a, I've done a video a while back about sheep and um, I'm not really happy with it. The sound quality is pretty poor and I think the video is much longer than it has to be to be fair. So I've decided to do it again. And as you can see here I've got myself quite a bit of a sheep farm going on um, so let's uh, first of all take a look at the equipment that we need all oh, the buildings of course that we need click on your in your construction menu you've got your animals and then go to sheep we've got the small sheep pasture and you can see here from the dialogue behold they can hold up to 15 sheep they need grass or hay and they need water the small sheep barn, which is this one here, can hold up to 25 sheep. They need grass and hay, but they don't need water. Uh, this is because buildings, of course, come with plumbing and they don't need water. The two barns I've got here at the end is the large, hold up to 65 sheep, and again, just need grass and hay. The small, the small sheep pasture here uh, will hold... 3,000 litres of food, grass or hay, and that's your interaction point there. I've just put, put some extra there to make it last a bit longer. The point for water is here, but I've, I've left my, my trailer and, and top of it, so we can't really see that. Uh, and we've got the interaction point there to buy sheep. So you open the dialogue, uh, and at the minute you see I've got the black Welsh mountain sheep. Four different breeds of sheep, it makes absolutely no difference which ones you buy. Uh, sheep don't produce anything but wool. Um, so it says here, sheep produce wool, which can be sold directly or processed further. So we can, we can if we own the spinnery, we can take the wool to the spinnery uh, and turn that into fabric. Sheep eat grass and hay, additionally they require water. This is a lamb. Animals that are healthy and older than eight months can reproduce. So this this lamb here can't reproduce, but the older ones here can start reproducing. Um, it'll take if you buy a bunch of sheep at two thousand dollars, a bunch of these little lambs. It'll take twelve months for them to become fully mature and reproduce. The uh, the small sheep barn. It will hold 4,500 litres of grass or hay. And the larger one here will hold 11,500 litres of grass or hay. Um, now, if you've got the maximum number of sheep, so so let's see. What was it in here? 25 sheep, wasn't it? Yeah, 25 sheep. And this one, the feed will last about five months. If you wait till six months the f there'll be no food left. Doesn't matter if you don't feed them, they, they, they won't die if you don't feed them, but uh, they won't, they'll stop producing wool. The same with the, the sheep barn, holding 65 sheep, 11,500 litres of grass or hay that'll hold, but again if you've got the maximum number of sheep in here, your feed will only last five months, it'll be gone after six. Now, I've got a bit of an experiment going on. Uh, if you haven't already noticed, I've got quite a lot of wool. And the reason for that is is because I've been playing around with these. Uh, you'll see in my large barn, that's the one at the end there, these sheep are, are still lambs, zero months old. But all the rest are, are 37 months old and they've been producing wool for me. So after 37 months, uh, with the maximum number of sheep in the pen, I have created, or my, my sheep have created, all this wool here. Uh, and that is 16,250 litres of wool. Um, and the value of that wool, of course, varies. Let's see who's going to buy the wool for it from us. There we go, wool. So the farmer's market or the spinnery. Spinnery at the moment paying the most. 
but if we wait until April, we're going to get the most we can possibly get from it. So that's fine, I can hang on to it until April. But it's, uh, let's say we sold it now. That is the price per thousand litres. Uh, and I've got 16,000 litres, and that's just from that small pen. But that, that took me um, 37 months to get all that wool. So let's see. Uh, I'll look at the calculator on my phone here. 3,231. Mm. No, yeah. Multiplied by, I've got 16 of them. That's $51,000. That's, that's quite a bit of money, of course, isn't it? For just very little, very little work. And again, the smaller sheep barn, I've been collecting it up here. <laughs> Got quite a lot there going on. Uh, managed to get 28,250 litres in 37 months. And then from a large one, <laughs> 37 months, I've managed to get 41,500 litres of wool, and that's just providing grass for the, the sheep to eat. Very, very little effort. Um, over here, I did have some older sheep, uh, the same as the, the barn next door, um, but I sold those sheep, and I've put the younger lambs in here, and this, this, is, this is the wool that the older sheep made for me in 37 months. It's the same again, it's 41,500 litres. Now, unlike any other animals, Sheep do not produce any sort of manure. No liquid manure and no solid manure. I just placed this bunker here. Uh, or the silo here just to... Just as an experiment. Um, normally you would put these near your animals and your, your manure would just automatically go in there. But sheep don't produce any manure. So the only thing we really get from sheep is wool. But we can also sell the sheep. Um, if we put back in the animals. So, you can see now that, okay, that's the young sheep, and they're only worth, I, could, if I bought them at $200, but if I sold them now, they'd only be worth $40. But the rest of the sheep, again, I bought them at $200. They're 37 months old, and they now sell for $1,000. $1,000 is the maximum that you'll get per sheep. And if you want to sell a sheep, you need one of these. You can do it, you can do it, uh, well, I call it automated, or you can do it manually. I think you get more money for them if you do it manually. Um, it's like an animal transport. Uh, so that's in the store. Under animal transport, funnily enough. And that's the one there, I'm using the smaller one. And it says here it holds <laughs> six pieces of cow, 13 pieces of pigs, and 13 pieces of sheep. That always makes me chuckle when they see pieces. Not, it's not whole sheep. <laughs> it's thirteen pieces of sheep. And then again, the large one here. You need a, you need a truck for this one, or a, or a dolly to pull it with your tractor. But again, it holds thirty-eight pieces of sheep. <laughs> and, and if you want to sell them manually, you can sell them up to the animal dealer. And it's a bit tricky with these sheep barns because the the interaction point is really close to the building, so. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We just open the dialog box, select the sheep that we like, uh, like to move, and then the number of sheep, and you can press the space bar to move them to the trailer. And then you can take them up and sell them, uh, sell them manually. However, the quicker method is just to go to your, open your animal dialog box, uh, and at the minute I've got the Steinschaff sheep. I can choose the number that I want to sell. I don't want to sell any just yet. So let's run this little experiment. Uh, as I say, I've got my 65 lambs in the, the large barn here. They've got enough food and water to last for a while. And I've got my older sheep here. These are 37 months old. I think they're exactly the same breed, not different breeds. Well, let's run this experiment. So, the, as you can see, we don't have any wool. This is this this area here. You can't see because of the grass, um, but you might see it just in there. It's a, a black and yellow 
kind of marked area is where your, your wool pallets will spawn. Uh, the same with this one here. There's a, actually moved to grass here. Um, yeah, the, the, the wool pallets will spawn here. So I'm going to go and skip forward until uh, July, just one month, and just to see who makes the most wool. I already know who makes the most wool, but I'm going to do it anyway just to show you. Okay then, we're now in July. Let's go and have a look and see who's made the most wool. And surprise, surprise, it's the older sheep. Look at this. The young, the young lambs have only made... So each of these, that square bale that's on the pallet there, that's, um, I think that's 250 litres. So four of them makes up to a thousand litres. There they go, a thousand litres. Four blocks. Of, so they've made two and a half thousand litres in one month. Whereas they've only made 250 litres. Doesn't tell... That's oh, actually only 36 litres. That is ridiculous, isn't it? So, uh, we can buy our sheep cheap, but they're actually more valuable to us the older they get. Now, when they get exactly 12 months old, they'll just spontaneously uh, multiply. So, the best thing to do would be to, if you want to save money and make money in the long run, is. Um, Start off with one sheep barn, and maybe get your 65 sheep. And then when they get to about 11 months old, just the month before they're ready to reproduce, you take half of them out and stick them in another barn. And then you'll end up with, uh, so you take, let's say, 30 sheep out of there and stick them in there, you'll end up, well, 60 sheep in there, or, yeah, 60 sheep in there and 65 sheep in, in that one. And to move them, it's just the same as selling. Take your animal transportation. And you can drive it into the animal dialogue. Okay, and you open your animal dialogue, select the sheep you want to move into the trailer, and then it's just a case of driving round to the other pen. and open the animal dialogue again and then move them into the, the new husbandry. Quite like to sell all this wool just to see how much money I make. Um, but I'll leave that for, for later on. That's about it folks, that should cover everything you need to know about sheep. Very, very simple, very easy to look after, called very, cause, uh, very little work. All you need is a, a couple of fields with some grass and and you can cut your grass every, I think it's three or four months if I remember right. So, uh, yeah, more than enough. More than enough time. So, uh, as I said, I don't know if I mentioned at the start of the video, but the food, when you fill these, these uh, barns up with food, it will last five months. Uh, and you can cut your grass every, I think it's every four months uh, to get some food. So, um, yeah, very, very easy to, to look after. Okay then guys, um, thanks for watching, thanks for staying this long if you're still here, hopefully you enjoy your sheep farming and uh, hopefully they found the video helpful and informative, <clears throat> but until next time, goodbye for now.